Hi, Steve, Suffolk Sifter. It's a, a fantastic, glorious, sunny day. A nice little breeze to keep you chilled. And it's the first time I'm having a go at metal detecting after we had a really, really good rain. If you remember the last video, I couldn't get spayed in. I've been gagging to get out of here for the last week or so. We've had a good rain, a couple of days of good rain, and I'm gonna give it a go. There's several fields to choose from. I think I'm gonna start with one behind me. It's uh, known for <laughs> Silver Hammond and Roman, but there's also one down the road which has got a good rep for Roman. So I wanna give this a spin first, stubble, a bit patchy, four to eight inches. So we're gonna lose four to eight inches of depth to start with. I'm gonna go with hot, the bog standard, out of the box, factory, number nine, hot. And see how we go. So thanks for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of further videos and the Wednesday live stream, which I'm sure you, you don't want to miss. It's uh, it's something to behold if you haven't seen it before. Anyway, I'm going to crack on, get kitted up and get out there and just see what we can find. Thanks for coming with me and if I find anything, you will be the first one to know. Right, once again, as customary, many, 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 many thanks to my newest subscribers. It means the world to me. Thanks for hitting the subscribe button and for those who have their privacy settings to public or not private I can see your names I've got a few which I can't see so much apologies for that so if you subscribed and I don't mention her it's maybe because you've got your YouTube settings to private so we've got a plane coming overhead and all new subscribers will scroll from bottom to top at the end of the video thanks so much for subscribing right here we go um, as I said it's a glorious day uh, stubbles around about between four and six inches so I've adjusted me stem to compensate for the height of the uh, stubble and I'm on hot but I might tr try um, GM power perhaps on the other field uh, if you can see there's this field here which is a, a humongous field and then there's a little crop there goodness knows what that is little greeny plants with little bubbles on the end and there's a field up yonder what's been cut and I'm going to go on there after I've had a, a brief go on here. Um, I'm a little bit tight for time. Uh, the Sifter family is off on holly bobs tomorrow and uh, I've only got sort of a couple of hours before I've got to go back and do like family things. So we'll crack on. I'm on hot and I've dropped it down to 11 kilohertz because the ground is compact. So thanks for joining me. If I find anything, you'll certainly be the first to know not sort of three paces on from the last clip um the the ground on this field has always been very 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 fluffy and it's and it's fantastic to dig even after a, a drought i've got in that clod there i think it's a sort of an 89 could be rubbish because i'm not too far away from uh, the headlands so just for a laugh, I'll do a live one here and probably get disappointed. But hey ho, I can get the uh, spade in the ground, which is a result. This ground is actually fantastic. Look, look at that. That is really, really nice. Right, so as per usual, these things I find normally are right at the top. And, and I've obviously dropped it out. So that's a good start. Oh, I want to see something. Uh, it's going to be a button, I should imagine. Having said that, I think it's the coin. So what about that? Guys and gals, look. First. First signal and a coin. Now, I couldn't tell you what it is. I'm going to have to put my spec glasses on, my old spec savers. I'll tell you what I'll do. Put my bins on. 
I'll spritz it and I'll get back to you. Spritzed, I've got my bins on. Let's have a look. Well, it's definitely detail on there. I'm sort of quite excited that it could be a Roman, but I think that's too thin. I've got a date on the bottom. It says 1780. And I've got a load of writing, so I don't... I'm assuming it's a coin. I could see H-O-L space A-N D I-A. Now, I'm not sure. It's uh, not a British coin. On the back looks like a gate with somebody holding a a spear or something. So definitely not English. Uh, I've got no idea. Have you got any ideas, folks? We'll have to look at that when we get back. I've got 62, and we're back on the buttons. Just nice to get back in the swing of things, so to speak. After a really hot spell. So there you go. Look, it's a, it's a button only, but hey ho, we are finding stuff. Same size as a coin, same shape as a coin, so it's all good. Uh, saw the edge, thought it was a coin, but unfortunately, I don't think so, just a bit of lead. Hey ho, we are finding things. Right, um, as I say, depending on the stubble height, you're going to have to adjust your stem, otherwise you're going to be trying to hold your coil up above the stubble. And you can see the variation here of table height for the combine. Um, it's very low here, which is quite nice. Then you've got like six to eight inches here. Well, this is freshly cut, so the stubble is very unforgiving. But if you, another month or two, that will have rotted off slightly and you'll be able to go over and knock it down a bit. So just taking into consideration the stubble height, because if you set it for low, and then you come up to there and you've got a lot of that, then you're gonna to have to shorten your stem, inch or so, so that you're not trying to hold up the detector all the while. But obviously you lose that height or that depth, depending on the stubble length. So. Just something to, to bear in mind. Right, as promised, I've had a had about an hour or so on there. Got some dog walkers down there, and uh, you know, first uh, signal was the best. That old coin, 1700 and something, I think. And thereafter was buttons, bits of lead, possibly a coin, half of a coin, uh, and some odds and ends. Well, as I said, not got much time, so I'm going to have a little walk past this crop of whatever it is and uh, I'm going to go on that field just yonder and we use GM power but for the educated amongst you sort of I don't know pointy leaves with little buds on so obviously they're going to be the seeds so I'm just on the postcard right here we go that's the field is and as promised, I'm on GM power, and I've just knocked the um, brings it down to 11.5 kilohertz. So let's have a brief walk over this field. I've not got a lot of time, and just see what we can find. Again, first signal got a this is GM power 95. So I thought, wow, it's going rubbish, it's rubbish. It is a coin, um, unknown at the moment, possibly half penny. But certainly a coin, there is a sort of a head on there. I think. So we'll have a look at that when we get home. So GM Par 1, first signal, coin. Well, it's got another 92, just about five paces. It's probably going to be rubbish on this one because I'm doing it live. There you go, look. Another coin. A 
bit worn, can't see a lot of detail. But certainly another coin. It's a more solid signal. Sort of 88, but sort of feels like us up top somewhere. in there it's come up to a 90 now let's uh, take the bottom off just to, for a laugh see if it's deep it's about six inches of whatever I've got here what's right, in here I don't think I'm gonna be presented with a coin on this occasion Excuse me for snorting, there is something in there actually. Oh, it's a bottle top. <laughs> there you go, folks. Good signal, but unfortunately it's a screw top. Phew, hot, hot. Right, time for a bit of shade, a drink, and uh, I think I'll have me emergency diabetic caramel bar. Feeling a little bit light and irritable. <laughs> Catch you when I get back. 70, 77 here. Um, I thought it was a, a bullet to start with, but I don't think it is. I'm not sure. Is it a bullet? Or is it something which screws into something and has got some sort of core? Inside some ceramic, I don't know. You decide. Well, I've got a um, 69, about four inches down. Thought it was just a bit of scrap. Um, maybe a decorative piece of a drawer, but I don't, I'm not sure. I do think well, it's a cross, isn't it? And there's a bit of blue on it, so it's got some detail on that side. There's, there's nothing on that side, but it is definitely a cross with some decoration on it, which is pretty cool. That was a 57, this is quite a good feel actually. I must confess we're not using this too much, but... So it's a 57. So goodness knows what that is. Uh, I know. Unfortunately, from across to a piece of silver foil. There you go. I'm going to try and show you what I've got. Well, there's a lot of rubbish there. You can probably see there's a can slaw. Anybody for wings? And some lead. Oh, a twist top, which confused me. But you've got to dig it, haven't you? And look like a. I don't think that's a, a bullet. I think that's an end of a sprayer or something, some sort of nozzle. Uh, anywho. That's cross. I don't know whether this thing will focus on it very well. I certainly won't if I put it in the shade, but yeah, it's got some blue sort of paint or whatever on it. Then you've got the other, the other two big coins are the ones I can't find out about at the moment because I can't see anything on them. Button top right and the, uh, the weird coin on the top left, which if I get much closer probably won't focus in properly, but I shall get a decent picture. When I get back, let's, let's try and zoom in a little bit. You probably can't see FA on that, but we'll, we'll take a nice snap when we get home. Well, there you go. I quite enjoyed that. It's nice to get out on soil that you can get a spade into. And the two fields we've just been on, uh, you know, for the little amount of time I was on them, was, were quite productive. You know, the uh, 17 whatever weird coin on the field yonder, you know, it's really good. And uh, two coins and a cross on this other field with GM Power, which is also good. Thanks for coming with me. I've enjoyed it, I hope you have. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of future video live stream. 
So thanks ever so much for coming with me and I'm really chuffed. I'm gonna go home, do family stuff, get packed and the next time you see me, it will be on the uh, Wednesday live stream at my holiday destination. See you there.